Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'm going to install a free WordPress security plugin. The name of the plugin is WordFence and you can see that this plugin has been installed on more than 5 million WordPress websites. So this is one of the best and the most popular WordPress firewall and security plugin. So I'll show you how you can install this free plugin and how you can secure your WordPress website using this free plugin. This plugin also has a premium version. However, in this video, I'm going to work on only the free version. I have the premium version of this plugin installed on another WordPress website and I'll show you what is the difference between the free and the premium plugin. The premium plugin will cost you $119 per year for a single website in which you will get different security features. So I'm going to install the free plugin. So let's go to the dashboard of the WordPress website. Go to plugins and click on add new plugin. Here search for WordFence. This is the plugin WordFence security, firewall, malware scan and login security. Click on install now and click on activate. Now it says get your WordFence license. So you need to register on this website and get the license. So click on get your WordFence license. It will go to this page and we will get the free license here. I'm going to click on get a free license. I liked a real time protection that will be a premium version. And this is the other option. I'm okay waiting 30 days for protection from new threads. Click on it. And here you need to enter your email address. So I'm going to enter my email address here. Would you like WordPress security and vulnerability alerts sent to your email? If you want, you can select yes or you can select no. Check this box. I have read and agree and click on register. Now it is going to send you one email and in that email you will get the license key. So go to your email account and you will see an email like this from WordFence. If you scroll down, you will see the license key. Copy the license key. Now let's go back to the website and close this one. Go back to the dashboard and click on this option install an existing license. Here you need to enter your email address again and enter the license key here select no and click on install license all right so it says free license installed congratulations go to dashboard now we are on the dashboard of the wordfence plugin and this is the small tool close it on the dashboard you will see firewall status the scan status then upgrade to premium notification if there is any notification it will give you the notification in this notification it says you need to update four plugins so on this website i have some plugins installed you will see and it says you need to upgrade four plugins so there is an update available for all these plugins let's go back tools then we have wordfence center status total attacks blocked within 24 hours you will see how many attacks are blocked by this plugin if you go to 30 days it will show the so this plugin is is blocking around 30 million attacks every day on a wordpress website right now in the left hand panel you will see the option wordfence currently we are on the dashboard below that we have firewall click on firewall and these are the firewall settings learning module until june 17. it says when you first install the wordfence web application firewall it will be in learning mode see this allows wordfence to learn about your site so that we can understand how to protect it and how to allow normal visitors through the firewall so it is going to be a learning mode for this firewall for the next seven days okay from here you can manage the firewall manually premium protection is disabled for that we need premium plugin then we have web application firewall currently in learning mode firewall rules then we have a rate limiting block crawlers that are using too many resources or stealing content now below the firewall you will see the option scan click on scan so this plugin is going to scan all the files on your wordpress website so to start a new scan click on start new scan and it will go through all the files on your website and it will scan all the files if there is any corrupt file then it is going to tell you that this file is corrupt you need to delete it if there are any updates it will give you that option also 
here you will see the scan status and these three options are not available for the free plugin so it's going to take some time to scan all the files on your website all right so it seems that the scan is completed and you will see the results here it says these plugins need update so there is an update for these plugins and we need to update all these plugins so this is what it shows other than that i do not see any error on this website so all the files on this website are in good condition if there is any corrupt file you will see the list of all the corrupt files or infected files here you can delete them you can review all the files you will see an option here delete all deletable files if you click on it it will delete all the files which are deletable and if there is any fix available then it can repair all the files automatically so you just need to click on repair all the repairable files in many cases you will need to go through the files you will need to see if the file is required or not if not required then you can delete that file manually so on this website i do not see any issue here you will see an option scan options and scheduling so if you want to schedule the scan you can do that also so here you will see an option let wordfence choose when to scan my site so that is the option available so the wordfence is going to scan your website automatically you don't even need to schedule it and if you want to schedule the scan manually then you will need a premium plugin all right so currently we have standard scan then we have high sensitivity scan and custom scan so these are different levels of the scan and here it says that this option is for the site owners who think they may have been attacked all right so this is all about the scan let's go to tools and you will see different tools are there this shows live traffic who is lookup import export options i do not think we need these options here Let's go to the next option that is login security. Using this plugin, you can also create two-factor authentication. That means whenever you try to log into your WordPress dashboard, it is going to send a code to your mobile device. You need to verify that code or enter that security code. Then only you will be able to log into the WordPress dashboard. So there is an option to enable two-factor authentication. For that, you will need to install apps like Google Authenticator, free OTP. So you can install any one of these apps on your mobile device. And after that, you can enable two factor authentication. Then let's go to all options. And here you will see the basic settings of this plugin WordFence license. This is your license key, view customization, general WordFence options. Then we have email alert preference. If you want to send email alerts, you can enable from here. Activity report, firewall options. So these are the firewall options. So all the settings you can see here also. So these are the basic settings of the free WordFence security plugin. If you want to secure your WordPress website, you should definitely try using the free plugin. I do have the premium version of this plugin installed on another website. Let me go to that website. Here I have the premium version installed and you can see that after installing the premium version, all these options are also available. If I go to firewall, all the options for the firewall are also available. Manage firewall rules, so you can manage the firewall rules here. Protection level is also there. Real-time IP block list it is enabled. Web application firewall status is also enabled and protecting. So this is how you can install the free WordFence security plugin on your WordPress website and secure your WordPress website. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.